check my exposure. Everything looks good. I think white balance is good. Let's check. Hold on. That's better. It is 1.49 a.m. What's good? Today I'm going to be talking about the Nikon mirrorless camera announcement. So right now I'm on the A6500 using the 18 to 35 Sigma 1.8. And if you saw my last video, I basically have bought the GH5 and then I bought this lens to use in the GH5. Long story short, the GH5 is gone. I gave it a try. I didn't really care for the whole Panasonic thing. Couldn't get used to it, so it's back to Sony. So hopefully the A7S III, you know, takes takes care of that 4K60 that I'm wanting. Because I don't know, I still have some GH5 stuff I gotta get rid of. But anyway, so the new Nikon mirrorless. So basically, I feel like this is Nikon just saying, Sony, you win. We have to come out with a full frame mirrorless camera and if we want to survive or whatever. And first, let me say, Canon is already ahead of Nikon by a mile. They already have a successful crop sensor mirrorless camera. And their autofocus can compete with Sony, but the thing is, Sony is a true hybrid camera because it actually takes good photos and it takes good video. Whereas a Canon camera does great photos, great autofocus, decent video. I'm not talking about quality. I'm talking about like video features like zebras, you know, peaking, really good codecs and things like that. And I know they're getting better, but you can get some of that stuff with Magic Lantern, but it's also risky. So I think one day, you know, Canon and Sony are gonna kinda even out. And I just, I don't like Sony only because they're mirrorless. I like Sony because they give you all these features, you know, in one body. Whereas I started out shooting Nikon and they're more photo centric. So I'm, so this is kinda my prediction on what their mirrorless full frame camera is gonna be. There seems to be a lot of hype around it and I think it's more or less just people that are happy that there's gonna be some competition to Sony. So the people who don't like Sony are like hyping up the camera and they may be disappointed. And then the people who only like Sony are just saying it's a piece of shit. So nobody really knows. But my guess is gonna be, if they're smart, they'll put the D850 sensor in this camera Actually, they would release two cameras, one that has 24 megapixels and then one that has the D850 sensor. So I'm assuming it's gonna be a brand new 24 megapixel sensor, but if I was gonna guess, I would actually put the D850 sensor in the body. It's gonna have like maybe six or seven frames per second. It's gonna be great at photos. It's gonna have great, you know, ISO up to like 12,800 or something. The one thing I know it's gonna suck is probably the autofocus. Nikon doesn't really have a true phase detect autofocus that's similar or on the level of Sony or Canon. So it's hard to say, you know, what their autofocus is going to be like. I think if the autofocus sucks, it's kind of a failure. Because you're not just competing for photos, it's going to be a great photo camera with a big mount, which is probably going to create bigger lenses. So I'm not really sure. It may look awkward with that big mount going down to a smaller mount for the legacy lenses. I don't know how that's gonna work. Or maybe the mount's not that big. It just looks that big compared to the body size and it's probably, you know, standard. I don't know. I don't know all the details, but I'm assuming it's gonna be a very good photo camera, but it's not gonna have those features for video like histograms. It's not gonna have focus peaking, zebras all that stuff. It's not gonna have all those video features. It's not gonna have a great autofocus. It's probably just gonna be phase detect with a touch screen. I don't see it having, did I say phase detect? I, I meant, 
I think it's just gonna be contrast detection just like all the current Nikons with a touch screen and that's it I don't think it's gonna have face detect if they do come up with a face detect system it's probably not gonna be that good I mean this is their first camera for full frame mirrorless so keep that in mind they don't have anything to back it up like Canon does with a crop sensor line that's been successful so I don't I think maybe they're they'll probably get it right by like the second or third camera but I don't see them doing it in the first try you gotta think how long it took Sony so this here this is the original a7s full frame mirrorless still one of the sm still the smallest this the a7 a7r are the smallest full frame mirrorless cameras on the market and this is the original one as you may or may not know this thing is contrast detection only there's no touch screen it's just a full frame sensor in a little body this was their first little crack at it this one is great in low light I still use it today it doesn't even do in body 4k I have to use my Atomos for that but this is probably closer to what Nikon's gonna come out with than even the 6500 that I'm recording on. I think the 6500 is gonna be a better camera. I don't think it's gonna compete with the a7 III. It's their first one. Now Canon on the other hand could release one. Mind you, it's not gonna have all those full hybrid video features like Sony, but it would at least be able to compete with the a7 III. And it would be better than this, but not low light. This thing, this is better in low light than the a7 III. You can argue with me all day. I've had both. I've compared them. This thing, 60,000 ISO for a music video, and it's like completely clean in 1080. So yeah, that's what I think. I think it's going to be a really good photo camera. Not going to be a great hybrid camera. Going to have, you know, its problems like every other camera. Everyone who thinks it's going to be this a7 III killer, there's not a chance. I hope they prove me wrong because then I would I'd want to get one. But I don't I don't think so. Even Sony, like I said, started out with a pretty shit camera and yeah the technology has advanced, but you know who has all that technology? Sony. And Canon's getting up there. Nikon Nikon doesn't have this technology. They do in some other parts or maybe like telescopes and other products they build, maybe point and shoots, but I just don't think that they have the technology to make an A7 III killer on the first try. So I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. If you want to see more videos, you know what to do. Leave a comment and I'll get back to you. That's a wrap. When I reminisce over you, my lordy, rest to make way for my newfound shorty. Check in the mic for ligaments while I reckon. Same time came out the wound while recording. All I ever did was make jokes out of suckers. Yeah. Told them about the life that I live, mad ruckus. But if you never seen a grown man rock jewelry like me, jealous of becoming over you, then you bite me. All these other people, they be cool and just like me. Talking about the homies and unusually right me. Yeah, my crew is off the roof. And I told her not to brag about the crew. Even though it's new. Yeah, even though it's new. Yeah, in the front row, kicking back old school trash like damn. Can't get enough of this more like I don't even know where I am. Ooh, baby, get hyped to the beat. Let's go, cause this is our jam. This is our jam.